Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're still in the middle of this uh, second to last DLC, unless there are more that are going to pop up after the game. And I have actually remembered what these things remind me of. I am um, just waiting for them to start throwing fireballs my way. Um, well, we'll see. Not exactly expecting that, but you never know. Um, right, I'll, I'll try to recap this quest that we're on. So, what I had initially forgotten, but kind of remembered at this point, is that it all started with that code disk that some kid found or something. Well, I don't know. Uh, some kid was playing around with it back in the in the Resistance headquarters and was uh, scolded for it. And it's something, we don't know what it means, but we know that it is from Amaru, and anything that he would encode can only be a secret worth figuring out, right? That's That was our reasoning. And we have followed the clues, vague as they were, but obviously not vague enough to deter Lara Croft. And um, we uh, ended up in that cave with some... with. A bunch of spoiled uh, supplies and a message told us that apparently those supplies were provided by um, Amaru's Trinity friends. Uh, he wrote in a letter to his brother Saidi in their own personal code that uh, yeah apparently those supplies were meant for the people of Paititi because I don't know I, I guess there was some kind of famine back then. Um, Saidi went hunting even though it was dangerous and uh, yeah, for some reason, for whatever reason, those uh, those supplies were never used, um, and part of them were actually infected with this red fungus. But um, it doesn't seem like uh, like Trinity were, you know, trying to poison uh, the people of Paititi. Uh, I'm not sure why only a small portion of those of those supplies were infected with the fungus, but apparently the fungus was a thing before that because Amaru wrote to his brother to meet him. Well, here, basically, behind the gate that was um, erected in the old village, in the abandoned village, to uh, contain the red fungus. And that is right here, the area where the red fungus first appeared, I guess, and people were forced to abandon this place. Yeah, this doesn't look good, and I'm not quite sure what this all means, how this all fits into the larger story or anything, really. But uh, maybe, and hopefully, it will all become clear. Well, wait. Oh, okay. I swing. <laughs> I was. I almost jumped without really thinking about how I would this must be the cross that. Fungus Amaru mentioned in his letter. It's obviously deadly. Obviously deadly. I mean, is it obviously deadly? It's probably deadly. It doesn't look good. Hmm. Oh, is that a convenient... What is that, a freaking Spanish cannon? Just hanging there? Okay, I was expecting to burn that stuff away some way, somehow. But I guess instead we're just gonna smash it. Trinity must have put these here. They should still be functional. Functional? Uh, oh, okay. Wait, so we're gonna cut it loose and then we're gonna fire it? Oh, okay, sure. Wait, uh, yes. Apparently it's loaded and ready to fire. You know. Because this kind of cannon isn't a huge pain to, to even get ready to fire. Requiring several people. <sighs> Historical accuracy. Always a strong suit of the Tomb Raider games. Especially the newer ones. Well, to be fair, though. Not that the older ones were historically accurate in any way, but... It's all the more glaring when the game is otherwise very realistic looking, you know. My dearest Sairi, I'm leaving this for you here at the gateway to my greatest fear, in case I do not return. Trinity have, on more than one occasion, offered me the opportunity to join their number. 
and for several reasons I've delayed giving them a final answer. But I can delay no longer. They can provide the resources we need to feed Paititi and rescue our city from this terrible famine. So I put my fears aside, willing to risk even my very life for our people. And if I should pay the ultimate price, know that I did so with pride and with no regrets. Your loving brother, always, Amaru. Hmm. Again, the game trying to make it look like Amaru is actually a good guy, or at least thinks of himself as a good guy. <sighs> I'm not buying it. I mean, he may have had good intentions, and even now he might have good intentions. It's kind of hard to swallow, though. Assuming that he was, you know, genuine when he was writing to his brother. So I definitely don't remember hearing about a famine before. Whoa, what? Oh, I did not realize that was just a normal trap. I thought some kind of event was going on. As I was just trying to collect my thoughts. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've heard about uh, some sort of plague or disease um, threatening Paititi's people. But uh, Famine, I think, is new in the context of this mod. Uh, mod. <laughs> well, DLC. Official mod, I guess. Oh, hold on. We need that, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe the famine was. This famine was caused by the red fungus destroying all the crops and even infecting maybe. The animals they were hunting. Their normal hunting grounds. The gate wasn't just for protection. It was to hide this tomb. And Amaru knew it was here. Aha, so you did have ulterior motives. But, I mean, first of all, how do we know immediately upon seeing this that it's a tomb and not some something else? Anything else? And also that it would obviously be <laughs> because uh, Amaru was hiding it. I mean, I don't know. It's just just a little bit silly when you think about it. Just jumping to conclusions, but no, well, whatever. Whatever. The spores are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. Hmm. I feel like we've come dangerously close to those spore clouds before without really worrying too much about it, seemingly. Looks like I'll... Yeah, yeah, I get it. Looks like I'll have to find a way to blow that open again. Is there a conveniently primed cannon? Is that a cannon? No. Yes, actually it is. It's behind a wall, though, so we'll have to move that into position, I guess. And then fire it. And hope that the one shot that we get actually hits. Spot on. Seems... Uh, Kind of un unsafe to me, but we'll see what we can do. So, what what moving pieces do we have? We have the cannon itself, of course. Can we safely walk here? Not here, but I mean, we just have to avoid the central central section here, I guess. But otherwise, we can just freely traverse this place, which the too close. is convenient. Get caught in the blast. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay, that's on a on an elevator platform. Oh, yeah, I see. Now I see. So we have to weigh down the other side of it. And I already saw it's that... Not safe to fire from here. Yes, thanks. There's a heavy-looking minecart of sorts, or some sort of cart. <clears throat> so we have to find a way to weigh this down temporarily. Like maybe by pushing down that. Then uh, pushing the cart onto the platform. Is that going to work, though? Or maybe just tying it to the platform? Yeah, there's some rope. And what is this all about? Okay. Is this exactly? Oh, I th okay. I think I see. 
think I'm beginning to see how this all fits together. Okay, seems like there's no more lore to be found. All right, we push this down a little. Um, can keep pushing it and then use that to move the card over this way, which we want to do because I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I mean, even if even if we lower down this platform here, it's gonna sit on the tracks and will not allow us to actually move this thing onto the tracks. Wait, can we just grab it? Yes. I think this is what we want. Now we can pull that sideways. Why is this here? Because we can... Swing across? Can we maybe climb... I can't quite tell. I think we can climb that ledge there? Yeah, we make it across before the thing sinks. Okay, that gets us here. Now we can probably get around and push that stuff down. No document, nothing. Okay. Seems like the perfect place. that down that's heavy but apparently not heavy enough yeah that would be perfect oh you know what we just of course it's actually pretty simple I think we just push that thing hmm push that thing under the platform so that it can't uh, so that it rests on this on this of whatever. What is this winch for? Hmm. I feel like I'm still missing something. This doesn't seem quite right. I mean, first of all, this is not going to fit, right? Yeah, not quite. Um. We'd have. Oh, wait. Can we. We can pull that up the. Uh, up the slope there. And then we can weigh down the platform and have this start rolling down. Yeah, okay, like this. It's not gonna work, but we can. Pull it up here. It has to be part of the solution. Basically, all I'm wondering is if I'm missing some kind of crucial previous step. Hmm. Seems good though. This should stay stable for the time being. Oh wait, is it actually? Are we supposed to cut that? Cut that thing and then just win the race. Make it to the platform before it rolls all the way there. I was thinking of maybe like shoot, trying to shoot the rope, but that's not gonna work. That's not a thing you do in this game. Yeah, I think we just cut this and run. Yeah. It takes a moment to go off. To really get going, I mean. Yeah, easy. Wait. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> Slow but steady. Perfect. And now it's just clear of the wall. Hmm. Almost. And it's, of course, perfectly aimed. Because, you know. Obviously it would be. And now we ascend up here. And magically, all the spores are gone. 
together with the the fungus I was creating it, I guess. The spore cloud, I mean. Okay, neat puzzle. Very uh, very illogical, but you know, it's normal. We want to climb up here? Can we? Yep. But I did see something here, some money, if nothing else. Wait, yes. So Lara called this a tomb that Amaru was hiding. And that also seems to maybe be the... Well, honestly, the tomb itself, or the building itself, doesn't exactly seem like the source of the of the fungus. There's not a single fungus to be seen in here. Hmm. How how does this all fit together? Well, there's the end of our of our search, apparently. Or at the very least, there is one of those those altars. Uh oh. God, so many bodies. I have to oh. avoid those spores. Holy crap. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, can we just burn them away? Nope. Not that easy. can climb up there. I mean, I suppose I just avoid the spores, like she said. We should be good, right? Just climb around like, uh, like what? Climb up? Okay. Seems pretty simple so far. Jump to that, yep. And then just rappel down. Straight to the mural. Steely or whatever. Mushroom win with a view. Raptor's eye. Aim at your enemies to tag them for persistent tracking. Hmm, okay. This entire construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner, they would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. Oh, that's the hunter that got Sairi killed. I will never killed. hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother, in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. Uh, and what what does that have, what does that have to do with the red fungus? Um, I feel like there's still something I'm not getting. Let's see. I'll, I'll wait until this final explanation, I guess. Go back to the old man. The old man, the, the guy we first talked to near the temple stairs, who was not very old at all. Yep, sure enough, that guy. Uh, okay, I guess I'll uh, just teleport there and cut off the loading screen. See you in a second. Okay, we're back. We also do have enough skill points to level something up, but let's finish this first. Hello, old man who looks like maybe 40. Definitely looks younger than Amaru himself, but whatever. I think so. More than I was expecting. Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? Oh, his sanity, right? I would explain a thing thank you even more helpful than I can say has he hmm. Korianka was right this wheel is important to Amaru it might be the most precious thing he owns we have no reason and no right to keep it from him uh, what but I mean we are going to kill him right isn't that the plan 
I mean, we're, we're talking about our great enemy here that, well, I mean, if not kill him, we at least are planning to dethrone him, right? And stop his entire operation. I suppose if he lives, he might as well have his freaking cold wheel back, but showing any kind of mercy to him at this point seems very, very stupid. Uh, I, I mean, okay, sure, I guess. Fine by me. Um, let's see, Viper Snare. Does it really what, really matter? Lure traps, enemy corpses. Still don't want to do that. Poison grenades. Uh, Bow's blow, concussive shells. I really... The last thing I need is more ammo types to choose from, which I never do. Whatever, let, let's just do this. That's completely pointless, but so is everything else at this point. Um, okay. Return to Amara. So we are supposed to enter the temple district again, is that right? Apparently. Which means that I have to change into something less comfortable again. That is unfortunate, but can't be helped, I suppose. Well, okay. Can I not just fast travel right here and skip this part? I mean, it should be possible, right? Quick cut. Okay, back in the upper city. Oh, really? The trigger is still there. Mm. Does the game insist? Well, I suppose I can approach that area from the side and see if that works. Wait. Other side. Oh, I guess... Hmm. Now, this is what we entered before for this other quest, though. Was it there? Or here? Somewhere in here. Really? The game absolutely requires me to pass through there. In before the next trigger is just somewhere up in the upper city. But we'll see. No, oh, maybe not. Give this to him. Oh, okay. We don't give it to him personally, or break into his personal quarters to uh, to I'm put it back. Room. What? He's right there. Oh, what a coincidence. What did that insolent priest want? What? How? Give me that. And here I was half expecting that we'd actually somehow run into him one on one and he'd give us some kind of, I don't know, a little bit of monologue explaining things further or something. I guess not. Looks like that's that. Wait, and now we do what? Talk to Edsley again. Or talk to Edsley, I guess. Wait, no, that's the main quest. Freaking... Or is it? <sighs> the Dragon and the Prince. Go back to the Skull Cave and report. Okay, not Edsley. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. I, st I still don't understand why this matters at all. I guess it's just a little bit of extra backstory on Amaru and Saidi. And I guess the history of Paititi. But not very relevant to our current cause or, or problems. But we'll see. That's the boy who had it to begin with. Oh, and that's the... Ah, yes. Koryanka, of course. What have you learned? 
too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the Rebellion. The wheel is personal, a keepsake that represents Amaru's love for his brother Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. One of them contained food which he had gotten from Trinity to help during the famine. But Sairi never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets. How very tragic. He ain't heavy, he's my brother. I just learned that... Learned about that. Uh, just yesterday, actually. Which is kind of wild. Otherwise I would not have gotten that... Um, that reference in the achievement at all. Well, here we are. Mission complete. Dragon and the Prince. And I completely missed if I got any... Any gear reward. Which I probably did. It's too bad new stuff isn't in any way highlighted. Or is it? Well, I have no idea. Literally no clue. Could be anything, but I am going to switch out of, change out of this outfit, and I guess uh, the next thing is going to be the, the main quest, right? I mean, I'd really love to have a, a clear break, an episode break in between, you know, the DLC and the the proper end game, but um, can't very well end the episode here, can I? Um. Wait. I thought that was a better looking version of this. I guess this already is the better looking version. Never mind then. I mean, I don't hate this. It looks okay from the backside. With that, uh, you know. The what 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 you what, what should I call it? I don't know. It's probably a good a good word for it. That half skirt cape like thing. But from the front it looks kind of, kind of meh. I don't know. I do like this. Um, sure, it's kind of become my favorite outfit, even though I was skeptical at first. So it makes sense to me to use that for the final showdown. And of course we're using the God Slayer bow, even though it's not super good. Uh, let's see, two skill points. Can we Eagle's Wing increase chance for recovering arrows? Yeah, sure. Just you know. That's the final blue skill, isn't it? Where's my achievement? Come on, game. I did get one, get one for getting every single combat skill. Hmm. Maybe that's just an achievement for getting all skills in one any one category. Fair enough, I suppose. So, uh, right. And we talked to Edsley to start this final sequence of events. Might as well, right? As far as I'm aware, there's absolutely nothing else to do. Nothing else to collect. We're at 9 out of 11 uh, quests complete, and that's everything that's missing here. Prince of Survival? The Price of Survival. Huh. Okay. Right. Challenges. Is there anything left? There shouldn't be. As far as I'm aware. Nope. Just not checked off. Um, well, yeah. No more collectibles left. No more quests left to do other than this one. So let's just do it. Apparently you can keep playing after the the end of the game, so it's not like we're missing out on anything. We have options. Would you? Kukulkan's army will follow the Sakbe to the Great Stone Bridge to reach the Pyramid. If we approach them head on, we have the best chance to intercept them, but we could easily be overwhelmed. If we go in this way, it'll be more secure, but our timing would have to be perfect, or they'd slip through our fingers. Can we do both? 
If we approach head on, I can go around the other way and act as a sniper. Seems like we've done something very similar before. They'd be trapped. No approaches without risk, but I believe this is the best option. Good. Then, on your order. Gather the troops. Let's go. Okay. Well, I, I have no idea how they can read that map, but... Again, so long as they can make sense of it for me, I don't need to understand anything. This is where we part. The path lies that way. Well then. Uh, I want you to hack this. For luck. Actually, I can't. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. <laughs> the shadow is Lara's. And still shadow of the Tomb Raider. Be careful, Jonah. Yeah, also you should definitely just stay in stay in safety and not go to war with them. <sighs> well <laughs> here we go. Unuratu's amulet, one shaped charm. Etsley gave me half of Unuratu's oh. eclipse amulet. I get the moon, and he kept the sun. I suppose this means he expects to remove the darkness over Paititi. Tall order. I hope I don't let them down. Pretty. All right. So, what is our immediate objective? Hello. That looks amazing. Oh boy, into the actual volcano, huh? City of the Serpent. Wait, what? Okay, nothing to collect here. 100% complete. Map already discovered. Uncovered. Man, I really would like to make a cut here, but I'll keep going for a little while longer. Guess we'll take a sneak peek at this volcanic cave. No getting back that way. Well, obviously it's too late to turn back, no matter what. Oh, that's uh, no problem, I'm sure. Just ignore that. And the eerie red glow. Oh boy, is it getting hot in here? Or is that just me? Yikes. Let's try to not get cooked, maybe? What, what is that? Is that just some... Oh, that's just some random debris. Look kind of anvil-shaped. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh god, this is not good. Um, yikes. I mean, this is amazing looking, as always. It's just about every single bit of this game. Wait, I probably should catch some breath, huh? Who knows how much longer this is gonna be. Oh boy, oh, oh, this, uh... I feel like it would really be extremely hot down here, to the point of actually dying, probably, but I mean, this is Lara, so of course she's fine. Whew. What the hell? Is that a natural forma rock formation or wow. Jonah, I made it! I see the bridge. Shit! Ah, I blew the bridge! This is kind of reminiscent of that ice cave at the end of the second game, right? I'm gonna check it out. Unaratu said that the crimson fire was her destiny. Is that? I can't tell if this is a artificial structure, some kind of statue, or just. Good. Team leaders coordinate with vehicular support. Cardinal Two, you're their eyes. Copy that. Remember, people, any structural opening is a potential enemy vector. Oh no, okay, that's definitely a statue like that one. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. That part definitely looks artificial. 
guess I should probably just keep moving, huh? Not stop to look around so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are repeating yourself, buddy. Well. Okay. More helicopters. I wonder why they need so many in the first place. Okay, I mean, good thing that those things are kind of on our side. Uh, do I want to climb up there? I think so. Yeah, just nothing but death down there. Yep. Um, and then here. Yeah. We pile down and swing across there. Losing a lot of people, huh? I like to hear that. Cautious. The source of the smoke. Do we want to go there? Why do we want to go there? Dali shit. Who's saying that? Oh, is that the Yashil leader? When the crimson fire smokes, we saw exactly once. Seek your mirror. Was this Unaratu's destiny? I mean, I'm assuming that's her. Probably. Who else could it be? Yep, sure enough. So what now? Are we enemies or...? Our allies against Trinity. Lady. Uh. You're the Crimson Fire. I think we're supposed to work together to defeat Kukul Khan. Too bad she definitely does not understand English. Ugh. What the heck? You shall. Uh, thanks? It's a pretty nice looking mask. Could get used to that. And fits the outfit very well. Okay, same to you. I'm just glad we don't need to undergo the same uh, facial mutilation. Oh, hey guys. We're allies now, right? Remember. Also, Trinity has been <laughs> nice and quiet these last couple minutes. It's very, very, very nice of them. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. Uh, well, I mean, they kind of do to an extent. I should probably just hurry through here. No, please. Just let me get out of here. My Tomenaka. That sounded very menacing, but it probably just meant please open the gate, guys. Thank you. Okay. 
I mean, now we have these Yashil hordes fighting for us, right? Jonah, change your plans. I'm bringing reinforcements. <laughs> what? I hope you know what you're doing. Absolutely, no, no doubt at all. Commander, we have eyes on Croc. She's with the Yashil. Yashil? Don't get distracted. Take her out. Um, no, don't. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just gonna take a quick break here. Um, I think this gives us a nice sneak peek of the, of the end game, and hopefully um, we won't reach the end of the game within <laughs> 10 minutes or so next episode. But even then, we, we still have more things to do, so I guess it doesn't even matter if we do. I'm guessing there is a little bit more to come, though. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I feel like it's a little bit more than I'm, I'm willing to commit to for this episode, though. And also, you know, I want to keep the suspense going. So we're going to continue next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.